way to beat San Diego's dead zones tonight at 5 30. Good, Blue. Blue, go get help. Doctor! Doctor, we need help here! You dig a shaft here, you find the main part of the tunnel, and you start bringing people through there. That's a long way. You're gonna be digging, but not the entire way. The mountain is full of cavities and passages. And water lines. We have to be careful or we risk flooding the tunnel. And the shaft has to be narrow to avoid another collapse. It'll only be big enough for one person. If you're thinking about volunteering, forget it. I'm not sending a civilian. I own mines in South America. I know what I'm doing. You're not certified in search and rescue. Max Wright, you need to leave this to somebody who's properly certified. I'm certified for search and rescue. I'll go. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have to get him out of here. Corny, Corny. Just go. Just go. Let me do it. Let me do it. Back off. Get away. I'm not going to leave him. This whole place is about to cave in. Get out. I am not leaving you. And we are all going to die here. Jason, please. Jason. Jason, please. We have to work quickly. In the OR, they'd be cauterizing each tissue layer, controlling the Emily, keep the incision clear and retract, just like I showed you. Get the light over here, Brent, uh, I'm please. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. God, I could never be a doctor. We're gonna save them. We have to. We're almost there. Uh, What's wrong? There's a problem. Been another cave in. Dude, it's head south. Well, okay, we should stay here where at least we know we're semi protected. I'm not gonna stay here with this this tunnel bury me alive. My kids need me. Carly may never get out of Rose Lawn. I'm the only parent my sons had left. Nice color. Yeah. Makes me feel warm. <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, beautiful garden. Yeah. I know, and, and there's a hummingbird feeder right outside this window. You just love those hummingbirds, right? Yeah. I love watching them from Michael's window, you know, and I love how the alpha male always chases off all the other birds and only lets his mate and his babies feed at the feeder. I'm kind of ferocious about it. I'm sorry that I promised, you know. Your promises. Yeah. I broke out all the time. <laughs> what do you do? If there's anything you need, anything you want. You know what I want? Uh, <clears throat> the boys need their mother, mother to be well, so I'm, I got a, I got something to remind you of that. Just, uh, I ordered a couple. Weeks ago, it's a, a charm thing for each of our sons, Michael and Morgan. I want, I want you to put it on your wrist, so that way, when you, when you look today. This. I love this bracelet. <laughs> Will you tell Michael and Morgan that I love them too, please? The doctor's gonna help you. You're gonna let them help you, right? They do that for me. Yeah. Sonny. I love you. I love you. You hear that? Oh yeah, there's somebody else on this train. Who's there? Come on out and identify yourself.
If you refuse to show yourself, we can only assume that you're a threat. Whoever it is, we're, we're stuck down here just like you are. Maybe we could help each other, we can find passengers and wait for the rescue team to find us. Car, you may never get out of Roseline, 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 Roseline. Give up now. Do you want to use another milligram of Epi? No, give me the pedal charge at 360. Okay. Once we do that, we're going to start bringing people up here one at a time. Wait, that sounds risky. Lena, we don't have any other options. Okay, we'll have everything ready. Wait, wait. Don't go playing hero and getting yourself hurt. Do you mean you care? No. We still have any other spare beds. And don't get stuck in the middle of the mountain. We've got enough to do without having to get you out. Well, I know what I'm doing. You can't go into the mountain. Lorenzo, do you really think this plan of yours is gonna work? It's the only way I can think of to access the people who are trapped in the center of the tunnel. I know Carly is your top priority. The commissioner won't let me back into the mountain, so I don't suppose it matters. This guy, why don't you go home? There's nothing for you to do out here. What am I gonna do at home? Same thing I'm doing here. I'm gonna sit around and wait. Emily's in that tunnel. And Jason? Not exactly my favorite person, but he is a quartermain, and deep down I really love him. He'll be devastated if he doesn't make it. So you're staying out here for the quartermain's sake? In my own. Jax is inside there, you know. My ex-husband. I loved him once, and I don't want him to die. I'm sorry, I should have realized. He must be as worried as I am. If I lift this thing, can you crawl out underneath? I don't know. Let's try. Okay, here, let me help. Courtney, Courtney, come on, come on. Let's back We're up. Back up against the wall. He's, he's right, Courtney. Listen to him. He's, don't risk the baby. Uh, look, there's no time to argue, okay? We have to move him. Now back up. Get her out of here. I'm not winning this easy way. Get ready to push. in the birth canal. I don't know how I'm going to get it out. Well, you got to do something. I'm going to make a bigger incision. Emily, knife. Hold on, Alexis. Mm. Alexis is waking up. Okay. We're almost there. Come on. 
got the cord tied, Rick. Grab the scissors and cut it. Here. Anywhere? Here? Right, yeah, right there. Uh. It's a girl. Uh. Okay. It's easy. Okay. Girl? Robin? Robin, something's wrong. She's not breathing. The airways may be blocked with fluid. Put your mouth over the babies and suck like you're sucking through a straw. Okay. Like that? Yeah, just be gentle, okay? Not too hard. Okay. Here are the sutures and bandages. Okay, good. Yeah, I need the flashlight again. Robin, it's not working. She's still not breathing. Just put your mouth over the babies and gently breathe. Oh. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, breathe. Breathe. It's working. It's working. She's, she's got cold back in her face. Alexis is hemorrhaging. We have to put more pressure, okay? She can't afford to lose any more blood. Oh my god! Nicholas! Nicholas! Help me take him out! Nicholas! Help me! Nicholas! Oh god! Oh god! Is it too, it's too, it's too big to move? Nicholas! Nicholas! Oh my god! Oh my god, Dad! Help! I can just be from my car. No! Look just... at these rocks! How are we gonna get them out? No! Oh my god, Nicholas! Corey, you just gonna cave? Come on! No! Okay, get up! No! Come on! This place is deserted. No son of anyone. Why'd you grab the gun away from me like that? I didn't want to frighten whoever it was. Well, you're assuming it was, a, it was a passenger that stuck in the tunnel like the rest of us. But if Luke could get down into here, then anyone could. Reese. Including somebody whose intentions aren't as good. Reese, I didn't, I didn't feel we were facing a threat. Based on what? Instinct. Must have been pretty strong. Yeah. She's only been gone about three minutes, which is the longest she's been out of this room since she got out of surgery. You've been here too. Well, sure. You know me, I gotta keep my eye on these quacks, make sure they don't malpractice. Your dad saved your life. You found a way into that tunnel when everyone else said it couldn't be done. You made sure you got to the hospital. Yeah, and your blushing bride did CPR on you to get your heart started again. You've been a lot of work, cowboy. But I guess it was worth it. Listen, next time you guys want to take a train trip, do me a favor, fly. I'll see you around. Dad? Yeah. Thanks. You have a very courageous wife there, son. Take good care of her. Nicholas. Oh, yeah, and that team of surgeons. But your dad was right. Oh, you are a lot of work. But you are so worth it. Looks like your brother's gonna be okay. Yeah, 
okay? I left him. Jackson, I promised Nicholas I wouldn't, and I did. We did everything we could for Nicholas. Okay? The whole place caved in, Courtney. What if Nicholas is still alive? He wanted you to save yourself and the baby. You know, they say that before you think you're gonna die, your life flashes before your eyes. And when all those rocks started falling, I, I suddenly started thinking about my first baby. I remember waking up and hearing that I'd lost the baby. I just didn't want it to happen again. I chose my baby over staying with Nicholas. No, 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 no. There was no choice, okay? We did. We did everything we could to try to get Nicholas out. You ever ask yourself, when am I supposed to stop caring? All the time. I mean, Jack certainly doesn't need me worrying about him, and I'm not harboring any romantic feelings towards him whatsoever, but I'm still worried. Well, Jax is extremely resourceful. If he found his way to the tunnel once, I'm sure he'll be all right. What if I told you the same thing about Carly? She's in the middle of a nervous breakdown. Oh, listen. She knew enough to climb out of that window at Rose Lawn, get to a train station, buy herself a ticket, get on that train headed for Port Charles, which means that she is far from helpless. I'm sure Carly is going to manage to survive. You may be right. After everything that's happened, I'm just not so sure. Jesse, you're risking your life. I'm certified for search and rescue. I know what I'm doing. Maybe I'm being selfish, but I don't want you to die. People are still down there, including Max, your cousin. Robin's like a big sister to me, and I want her to be okay. But I want you to be okay. I know you need to help. It's not just your job, it's who you are. Thank you for understanding. I just promise you're gonna come back to me, okay? I promise. Come on, Alexis. Stay with us. Yeah, we, we had to do a, a C-section. Yeah, we, we, well, uh, I, I think you know her. She's a doctor, Robin Scorpio. Oh, yeah, Matt mentioned that she was on the train. Yeah, well, she, uh, she performed a, a C-section along with Emily. They were really incredible. So, Alexis, is this okay? Yeah, well, uh, they're, they're trying to they're trying to control the bleeding. I just can't seem to make her stop crying. It's all right, you. You must be exhausted. <laughs> Okay. Come in. Watch your head. Watch your head. Thanks. How are you doing? Welcome to the world. Yeah. Everything is here. Okay. It's mommy and daddy who love you. You know how stubborn Alexis is? Yeah. Rick, you know, she'll never abandon this child. Well, she'll yeah. make it. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, Jax. I, I, I'm saying the same thing to myself, but Robin has very little to work with. You know, we don't know when we're going to get out of here. It Alexis, Alexis knows, money. Alexis knows that she has everything to live for. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm, I'm trying to pray at home. Do you ever make it out of the tunnel? I do. Yeah, briefly, you know, they're putting together a huge, huge rescue operation for us. They're trying to get us out. And you came back to bring us encouragement? Something like that, you know. came back, too. Uh, where is he? He'll be on a side. Hopefully a way out. Sam, where'd you come from? I'm so glad it's you. Uh, passageway back there. Jason needs your help. Jason. 
Jason. Jason. Jason. General Hospital tonight at 10, only on SoapNet. I'm not going back with you. Don't interfere ever again. You obviously want a piece of me. Tell me where he went. The characters you love, the stories you can't live without, on the channel you can turn to anytime. SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps. Thanks, Courtney. That's so sleep. What about Nicholas? Where, where is he? He was a cave-in. Look, I said I'd stay with him and I would have. But Emily Rock started falling and couldn't see him. Everything started to collapse and I... No. I was on this commuter train when it crashed. Jason's in northern Manhattan to see Riley. Yeah, was I, was bring, I was bringing her back to Port Charles so she could start Jason on her drug experimental but, therapy thing. What's saying. Jason doing here? He was at the hospital, and then he heard that the trains had crashed, so he came looking for me, and he found a way in, but we were trying to find a way out, and then he had a seizure, and he collapsed, and then he fell off a ledge. Sonny, he needs your help. I can't move him. Where is, is Robin now? Robin? Robin is with Alexis and Emily at the antique train. They are relatively safe, but Jason is not. And Manny Ruiz was on the commuter train. Now he's on the loose, and I don't... That's probably who was hiding in the train car. Please, That's probably Manny. please, come on. We have to find Jason. Help him, please. It was a good idea digging that rescue ship. How soon did he reach the passengers? The crews are working as fast as they can without triggering collapse. Thanks for the update. Now you can update me on something. Why are you taking such an interest in this? What's down in that tunnel you want to get out? Someone close to you or someone you don't want me to get to first? Mac, please. Is it so wrong for Lorenzo to show some concern in you and kindness? Carrying blankets shows concern. He wants to go into the mountain. I happen to ask him to find a way into that mountain to rescue Emily, which he has. Hopefully it will save a lot of other people. Yeah. We'll handle the rescue. Safe. Not so surprised. They'd ask me a cover for you. Doesn't explain why you did. You love Carly the way every woman wants to be loved. Maybe I'm just a sucker for happy endings. Come on. Oh, we're almost there. Come on. Why? Did they get a postponement? No, not that I know of. Okay, then I gotta be in the courtroom less than a half an hour. No, not wearing that. What are you talking about? You always tell me I had to dress up for court appearance. You're on trial for murder, okay? Now, here, put this on. I have a shirt. It's not blue. Carly, I don't, I don't have time for it this It doesn't right matter now. if you walk in the courtroom late, but you need to walk in looking innocent. Now, okay, put this what on. Is, but what does it have to do with the color of the shirt I'm wearing? Because it's the color of your eyes, and I went through 50 to find the perfect color. You have to wear that. Jason, you have to, because it makes you look soft and more gentle, all right? It makes you look like the person you are on the inside, not some hired killer, okay? And that's exactly what the DA is going to turn you into. I know that you're trying to help me, and I promise you I'm going to wear this shirt. Just not today. Hey! Aren't you scared? Of going to prison? I just know whatever it takes, I'm not going to let myself get locked up. I don't want to do any of this, okay? I don't want to sit in a courtroom for days hearing how vicious I am. And I don't want you buying shirts and telling yourself, if it's blue, I'm not going to get convicted. I don't like seeing you scared. Okay. All right, then let's make a deal, okay? Huh. I mean it this time. Let's make a deal, all right? From now to the end of the trial, I will not ask you to reassure me, and I will not ask you to tell me that everything's going to be okay. I won't buy you any more shirts. Mm-hmm. I'm on your side. Whatever you need. Whatever that means.
I need you to stay as still as possible so you don't pull the stitches, okay? And can I hold her? I think it would be better to wait till we get you to a hospital. I want to see her. Hey. She wants to see you, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, Alexis. You're a beautiful baby girl. <laughs> She's beautiful. Yeah. Just like her mother. You did an amazing job, Alexis. I'm telling you, you gave birth to a healthy baby girl underneath the worst possible circumstances. Now it's time for you to heal, okay? And get well. She's a miracle. She's beautiful. You did everything. You did everything perfect, just right. I mean, look at her. She's all pink and, and wrinkly, and I bet she's at least 10 pounds. <laughs> she's strong. Yeah, just like a mother. What are we gonna call her? I don't know. She's a fighter, determined to be. That's for sure. Saturdays at 6.30, only on SoapNet. Any hostile situation? Well, almost any. Who's the boss? They ain't mom and dad. All new Super Nanny, this Friday, 8, 7 central, only on ABC. The doctors say you hadn't so lucky when you did. You would have bled to death. Well... It's gonna be okay, that's what's important. Dad, you saved his life, okay? Well, get in there and, and tell him you love him and that you're happy he's gonna be okay. I'm sorry I accused you of leaving Nicholas behind. Well, that was an easy assumption. I just, I don't, I don't really know you that well. Other kids had dads who were there at birthday parties and soccer games and school plays and you would show up maybe once or twice a year. I, I, I tried to think of ways to make you think I was great and hang around me more often and... Whatever, it's old news. Anyway, I just, I wanted to thank you again for saving Lucky. You're welcome. Luke, Monica tells me oh. that Lucky's gonna be okay. How? Is that any of your business? Don't bother showing up here pretending to care. You are a stepmother, not a Spencer. They broke it through the tunnel. We're ready to send you down. Okay. Just, just come with me and be careful, okay? I promise. Come on, let's go. Let's go here. So if you think it's going to collapse, give me a shot or a couple of tugs on the rope and we'll pull you out. Okay, let's do it. You're fine, Carly. She'll be all right. So are the people you care about. This is going to work. It has to. 
I gathered everything I could to try to get Nicholas out, but the whole place caved in. Did you see him after that? No. Then he could still be alive. Listen, he, he was pinned under a beam, okay? And then rocks started coming down on him. But you survived. Because I was able to get out of the way, okay? Nicholas couldn't move. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. You're right, Alexis. You know, we could never get our priorities quite straight, but all that changed in one miraculous moment. Bickering and squabbling and hurting each other. Yeah. Huh? matter at all now. All that matters is Molly. Yeah. This is our family, huh? You, me, Christina, Molly. It's our family. All that matters from this moment forward is you getting better, the three of us getting out of here, and home to Christine, because, because your children need you, Alexis, and, and you and I need each other, too. Where'd you see Manny? At the back of the train before it crashed. Have you seen him since? No. Okay, so he's either dead or hiding in a tunnel someplace. Uh, you okay, Reese? Yeah, I just yeah, need to catch my breath for a second. She got hurt in a crash. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check around. Now. Okay. Hey. Look at you. You're clean. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I just cut my lip when I fell. I'm fine. All right, hey, everything's clear. Let's go. All right, come on. Come on, we're clear. This way, this way, this way. Hey. Stay there. I think you're safe. I'll come here and get you out. care of your big list this weekend with three big days to save at Sears all jeans all craftsman tool storage all home appliances and all TVs are on sale three big days to save Thursday through Saturday only wish big at Sears I love what she's done with her knee don't bother impersonating someone who cares Shouldn't you be out drinking your double martini at the club? Hmm? Getting a manicure done, having your, your roots dyed? What, wait, what color is that? Is that corroded copper? Are you trying to run me off before I have a chance to tell your father about you airing your family grievances in public, holding up rescue efforts with your drama? Poor Dylan. With a mother like you, it's amazing he is not in a straitjacket. Let's fit you for one. Okay, ladies, let's take a break. Everybody to their corners, please. You actually like being my father's cash cow, don't you? Well, for a man who's less than enthusiastic about the burdens of fatherhood, you're up to your elbows. This room is all wrong. What do you mean? Oh, we're supposed to be in a penthouse suite of a five-star hotel. <laughs> Candlelight, drinking champagne. And the lights of Manhattan twinkling like little diamonds outside our window. Look at me now. Lying in a hospital bed. Just getting better by the minute. Ready to spend the next 50 plus years with me and Cameron and whatever little crumb snatchers we decide to have. <laughs> I still owe you a romantic honeymoon. Who says this isn't romantic? You always do that. Do what? Always see the bright side. It's easy. I have you. You know, Christina's gonna make a great older sister. She's been working on a welcome home poster for her for about weeks now. I'm oh, sure it's gonna be spectacular. <laughs> I'm just a little worried about her pushing around the baby carriage considering 
physically impossible for her to reach the handles. Did I tell you that she wants to buy the baby a kitten? Yeah, uh, she told me that, and I told her you probably nixed the idea, and then she did mention that you did nix the idea. <laughs> Molly, you're going to have to know something about this family. We're very stubborn, and we're very, very bossy. But we're funny. We're a funny family. Oh, we're funny. <laughs> Excuse me, I need to examine Alexis. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll just step out of the room. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Dad. Mm. Oh, my Come gosh. Come here. Mm. Thanks, Rob. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? About the same. Your baby is adorable. Thank you. Thank you for everything. And I think she's adorable. <laughs> Can you feel this? Mm-mm. Okay. How about that? Can you feel that? Mm-mm. And, uh, is, is that painful for you? Touch it bad. Okay, um... Uh, to try and get some rest, and I'll be back in a little bit to check on you. Okay. Thanks. Hey, you feel that? Looks it seems a lot better, you know? She's, she's not so pale as she was before. Right, there's no easy way to say this. Alexis isn't getting better. If help doesn't arrive soon, she's going to die. It shouldn't have happened. It's, it's no one's fault. First suit. He's bringing him the triage. Stay tuned for scenes from the next General Hospital. On the next General Hospital. If she was missing from Roselawn, I'd have heard about it. Why did you leave Roselawn? Ma'am, I need to ask you some questions. I lost you. I never wanted to leave you. Well, something's wrong. 